Like you have books that convert it to a kitchen habit and create more storage in a kitchen. Everything feels like work. So I broke one. Depending on Word in the season. <laughs> All my energy is back. God is your source. It will show up for you. So worth the work. That looks good. Hey beautiful people. Welcome back to This Girl's Insights. Where you can find vlogs and sit down conversations about faith and lifestyle. In each of my videos, I share my insights, my journey, my life with you. And y'all, I am back. <laughs> and I mean that in so many ways. Hopefully from your point of view, I have not been gone. Because hopefully I have been managing to record regularly and edit regularly and stay on schedule and have work-life balance with my 9 to 5 and like my personal responsibilities and also making sure I keep my YouTube channel updated. Hopefully all of that has been happening. And when I say I am back, you don't actually think I don't been gone. So hopefully when I say I am back, you're like, why is she saying I'm back? She ain't be gone. Well, y'all, I ain't be gone. But when I say I am back, and I don't know why I keep on saying I am back, but when I say I am back, I actually meant I am back to talk about the Ikea Billy book stand that I put in my kitchen, which is like, I feel like we start that conversation ages ago actually now and then i kind of just moved on and i didn't say nothing about it because like there was a vlog if you haven't seen it i will leave an eye somewhere basically i put together an ikea billy book stand and i basically said in the video i was all like yo i'm going to do something very exciting with this it's going to be in the kitchen and y'all i kind of just didn't say nothing about it going forward that was just kind of it i was just yeah um i kind of i think i got distracted by other projects also it just took a while to kind of pull everything together trying to decide what i wanted to do with it had so many moving bits and pieces and so many things i needed to buy like individual things that i just kept putting it off but y'all today is the day i am back to talk about this ikea billy book stand and how i'm going to convert it to a kitchen cabinet so y'all watch this space because we're about to do this i feel like that that was a lot of energy i just gave y'all and to be fair i am really tired right now so i've just got back so i've been at my sister's for the weekend and then today's a sunday so i was at hers for the weekend then went to church from her house and i've just got back from church and it was like a really good service y'all it was actually a baptism service today so it was a really good service but it also just meant that we were really busy um with regards to just getting things done so it's also like i'm kind of just really tired i'm tired from like not being home all weekend i'm tired from being in church and all I kind of want to do is just sit down and take a nap and sleep. But I also really just want to be relaxed. And I don't think I will be completely relaxed until I get this kitchen cabinet situation sorted. Because it's almost like it's literally at the back of my mind every day. I just want to get this off the to-do list so this can be done. Also, when this is done, I am mainly done with the kitchen. Like when this is done, my kitchen is... My kitchen is done. I think, I think this is the last thing I need to do in the kitchen. So I'm really excited, y'all. This might also be the coffee kicking in, by the way. And I also think it's just really off the back of a really great service. Like, I love a baptism service. There's something about watching someone get baptized and make that commitment to God. And also just the word that came. He preached about baptism, but it also kind of like just gave a word in general for the church. And for me, it was a word in season. It was just talking about the fact that, you know, at the end of the day, when we feel like we're running out of ourselves, we, we need to remember that we have a God who does not leave us who is with us, who will help us, so we can't run out. If you feel like you're running out of hope or running out of strength or running out of just anything that you need that is good, like understand that God is your source and he will show up for you. And for me, I needed that because I like, I've been so busy recently with just so much stuff, trying to balance everything. And I just keep on thinking like, there's got to be more to life than just working, 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 working. Everything feels like work. And I don't know, it was just a word in the season. Also, the way you just explained the baptism was also just really like, it was really encouraging. Um, like, what I'll do is, I actually have, I have some clips on service. Um, not of the baptism, but I do have clips on the sermon. So I'll insert that. And then we're going to jump straight into this Ikea Billy conversion. And I will show you what I have done so far. Because I have done stuff on it in the meantime. Kind of bits and bobs. And then we'll kind of go through the rest of it. So let's do this, y'all. It's not about me being born into a Christian culture. They're saying it's not about me attending church. No, no, it's because I have given my life to Christ. In other words, these are people who have heard the gospel. These are people who have believed the gospel. These are people who have received the gospel and are now walking in obedience of the gospel where the Bible says, be saved and baptized. Be saved and be baptized. <laughs> so far this bottom part is still empty i have a jar in there and what's that oh crocs box instructions so the main thing i have done is i have added in my coffee machine and my kettle over here initially i was gonna drill a hole 
in here. I was gonna have the wires for the kettle and the coffee machine go through that hole in the back. And then when I was thinking it through, I was like, actually, that's extra. And because I plan to use this long term, and I think in my next place, I might, I'm most likely not gonna use it in the kitchen. I'm gonna use it as a billy bookcase alongside my other two billy bookcases that I currently have in the bedroom. Like that was the reason I bought a billy so I could continue to use it to expand my other billies. So I was like, don't drill a hole. And what I did was I basically updated the back of this so that there are two plugs. So these are being attached by, what are they called? I literally just took two extension cords and I stuck them to the back. So the one at the back, that far one, is plugged into the wall down there. This is plugged into that one. And what it means is because I've got one on this end and one on the other end, it basically means I can always easily plug in a device from each end. And I get that the wires aren't the prettiest, but then a part of me is like, I can live with it and it's not that obvious. Um, and that's probably better than drilling a hole that I'm not gonna need forever. Then the other thing that's happened is this tray. This tray, y'all, has been a whole situation. This tray is probably one of the main reasons it's taking so long for me to do this video. This tray was initially part of a set of like four trays I got. I got two of them in gray and two of them in white. And when I got them, I thought they were gonna stay standing like this, but they don't. They're basically spring-based so that they always pop back up. For instance, if this was a sofa arm, it would hold on to the sofa arm. But then what I really wanted it was, I wanted it to stay this way so that I could place stuff on it. So I started messing with it um, to try and see what I could. And I thought this was gonna be really simple and it turned into a whole situation. So if you look really closely, see these things over here, these two like, just here and here. So this is what keeps it spring-based. So this is why it always pops back up. So in my mind, I was like, well, if I cut these things off, that's gonna stop it being springy, right? which is true. So here is it. The issue was after I did that and I realized it could stand by itself, I realized the hinges are actually still quite loose. So like it stays up, but it's just not the strongest tray ever because the hinges weren't made to stay up that way. So now I've kind of been in this process of how do I get this to be stable enough? Because I actually want to put glass on here. And like, like literally look how unstable that is. And with me putting glass on there, I don't want to end up with like knocking something over. Trying to figure out how to basically fix this is what's kind of like been a mental block and the main reason I kept putting this off. Um, and to be honest y'all, I still don't know how I'm going to fix it. Um, but I'm going to attempt to because today I just want this done. But like this for me has been a whole journey. Because I don't even think I told you guys this, but then this Billy, this like Billy bookcase, converting a bookcase to a kitchen cabinet was a whole journey. Like I didn't even started what I wanted was a kitchen trolley so I was gonna get a kitchen trolley off Amazon that was like a similar height to my fridge I was gonna put a kitchen trolley here and it was gonna be about this small like I even found one on Amazon I'll leave the link in the description box but I'm just gonna put like one of these just like in here and then when I started shopping I literally saw like a red like I don't know how to describe it it's like a kitchen cabinet but like a ready-made one that you can just get delivered. And I was like, this is amazing. Like, why don't I have a proper kitchen cabinet? Because I'll get so much storage. But the one on Amazon was over my budget for what I wanted to do. Because obviously I am renting here. But also it was too big for this space. I then decided I was going to make a custom-made, like, kitchen cabinet. So I'm going to have, like, a kitchen cabinet on this side. Storage here. And then almost like a cupboard for my fridge. And then I remembered again that I am renting. That's spending a lot of money for a custom cabinet that I won't be able to use in my next place because in my next place i'll probably have like a full length fridge like i wouldn't need all of that and that's how we ended up with oh i'm just going to get a bookcase and convert it if you're like and i don't even know if you're able to follow that but if like can you imagine from my point of view it's been this whole journey of i'm shopping for a trolley now i'm shopping for a ready-made cabinet now i'm looking at carpenters for a custom-made cabinet and now i'm then shopping for a bookcase and now i've got a bookcase and now I need to set it up. And now, I need, like, it's just been a whole thing. So I said all that to say, either way, this is getting sorted today. Let me try and see what I'm going to do about these. Um, look, it's just, it feels so flimsy, this legs. But let me see what I can do about these trays. I don't really have an idea what I'm going to do. But all I know is that the pin in the hinge is loose. So I need to put something next to the pin to make it tighter so it doesn't move as easily. When I was at my sister's house, I basically just took some toothpicks from her house because I don't have toothpicks. Um, And I was like... I guess I could put a toothpick in there and see what happens. So I'm pretty sure it might be easier to just buy a tray that's ready made to stand, but I'm just not bothered to shop again, y'all. Okay. Okay, y'all. I come there in I come there in toothpicks. I've got some literally to, I've got some plastic ones. Well, I think I've got like these are the dental picks, and then I've got like wooden toothpicks. And I I seriously don't know how this is gonna work. I've also got like a tiny, tiny screwdriver. Now I actually don't know if there is a way to Oh yo, this is a whole situation. I might actually have to research this. Cause can I just get a toothpick in there? Let me see if I can get a plastic one in there. And yo, I would not advise doing this. Um, I'm literally trying to splinter the wood. Oh, that's not gonna work. 
this is not going to work okay yeah. so my plan to just figure this out with no research um is obviously not working out i wish i had just ordered some new hinges like these are 2.5 centimeters so 25 millimeter hinges and i wish i had just gone on amazon and ordered some new hinges because this is a whole situation and now i'm not even bothered to wait because i want this done today y'all i want this done today so what i am now thinking is i'm gonna screw this back on i'm gonna try and see if i can stabilize it with wood glue and see if i can stick this bit together and then while that is being sorted we will get on with the rest of the stuff we're actually setting up the cabinet you know i fully tried to split a toothpick the excitement is is gone i spent like an hour trying to figure out the this spring hinge situation and trying to tighten these hinges and you know what y'all it's not even i'm not even in the mood anymore the tie this is real the tie this is actually real um so i think i've just had to accept that i'm gonna move on i'm just gonna move on and get everything else done i don't like i like the way fully came in determined like i've done no research but i'm gonna come with some toothpicks and figure this out but back to the cabinet so the idea is that the tray's gonna go here i'm also gonna put like some glasses in here for like tea and coffee and then some like jars so like jars for like sugar coffee all of that stuff but then let's scratch that for now because I don't even want to think about that situation. Here I want to put my fruit and veg. And I feel like I've shown you guys this before. So let me actually grab these baskets. I basically got these like wire baskets of Amazon. I love them. It took like the amount of comparison I did to get ones like that I like the style of. I wanted it in black. And what you can do is you can stack them on each other. So as you can see, I've, I've already started putting some fruit and veg in there as well. And there's basically this slot there where you can stack them. But then I have measured it so that two stacked on top of each other fits into that middle tray so let's see what that looks like there we go okay i quite like the look of that okay that looks really good and it just adds like a pop of color into the kitchen as well um so i'm really enjoying this like i wish y'all could see this because the idea is that it's going to be like black white and silver so ignore this gap because we're going to figure that out and then for the top layer, what I want to do is I want to have jars. Let me show you all the jars I got. Um, and for that, we've got to come to this corner. That is now my new packages corner. So before I had all my packages spread out there. But since I've had my co pack as my TV stand, I now use this little corner and I squash things in there. Some stuff has been there for ages, actually. Some stuff is stuff I was meant to return that I'm just like, I can't even return anymore. But jars, y'all. So I got these from, I actually don't know the name of the company, but then I got them from Amazon. Like the delivery was so good. I feel like I've had this conversation with y'all before. I might, do you know what? I might have posted on Instagram when this, actually, when this delivery came through. So if y'all follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen these. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. But basically, I got some like airtight jars. Let me put this down so y'all can see. I got a, a 1,500 millimeters. Um, I did want two 2,000 millimeters. But the reason I went for 1,500 is because like when I measured my thing, when I measured my, the space that was left in the top shelf of the book stand, um, the, the 2,000 millimeters would have been too big. So I basically went for this because of size. As you can see, it is airtight. So I'm going to be using it for food. Um, and I bought six of them because when I measured it, I think six should fit directly across um, that top row there. Um, I was kind of playing around with whether I want to have a mixture of like jars and plants on there. But I think it's just going to be all the jars. Um, I know I definitely want to have one for like pasta, brown rice, maybe oats. Um, I want to have things like beans in there as well. Elubo, which um, is the powder that I use for Amala which is like a Nigerian, like a Yoruba thing, but I actually don't know what it's, I don't know what the English equivalent would be for that. And I don't know if you all know, but like I have been trying to be more, over the last few years, um, since 2020 actually, I've been trying to be more plant-based and I don't mean I'm trying to be vegetarian or vegan. It just means that, yes, I eat meat or I eat fish or I eat whatever, but then when I'm not eating that or in addition to that, I'm eating less like preservatives and just stuff that's just more, this is a plant and I'm cooking it. Um, and what I found was, in my attempt to do that, I just ended up eating more preservatives, like fake sausages. Aren't actually, it's not actual vegetable, it's just more preservatives. So now I'm like, actually, I just want to get stuff that I can cook. Um, but that's a sidetrack. Anyways, y'all. So I got these. Now, I these come with the orange, orange, um, orange seal, which is not what I want to use. But I think I should be able to easily take it off. And then what they did was they sent them through with like white seals for me to replace it. Um... I'm just going to put these on, actually. Oh, how'd you get this on there? Oh, that is tight. Are these all the same size? Okay, this is a small one. So, oh yeah, worth mentioning, in addition to these big jars, I also got small versions of it. So I also got these ones. 
Um, and this is where I'm going to be putting in like my brown sugar, my coffee, my teas. As you can see, I have gone for clear and silver to keep it simple and kind of keep it in line with this kind of like white and silver thing. But let me try a bigger, a bigger band to see if that goes on. And then I'm going to have to wash these if I can use them. Oh yeah, that goes on much easier. Oh, super easy. Super easy to replace. While I'm sat on the floor, I'm actually going to quickly replace all of the orange with the clear ones. Um, and I'll save the orange just in case, you know, save these things for the future. Um, oh, while I'm down here, actually, let me just show you what else I have in my packages corner. So like a mini haul slash unboxing situation. As you can see, something else I have are plants. So I have, oh, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this. I know it starts with Z. Uh, ZZ something. So I've got one of this. This is, I think, is actually going to go, I think, somewhere here. And then the other one is a peace lily i think this is a peace lily so if you follow me on instagram especially if you follow me on home decor by tommy Lerida. so i have two instagrams by the way i have the my main instagram at this girl's insights and then i have home decor by tommy Lerida. if you follow me on there you know that i have a habit of killing every single plant that comes through this flat i just be killing plants like it's first of all i don't have a lot of windows and natural lights in this flat which make which makes things very difficult but also i'm also like i've not got a green thumb so it's kind of like combined issues but the other one i have is i think this is a peace lily which i got for the bedroom and this is so pretty i'm so in love with this i've also got two other ones which i've placed in the bathroom already but the reason i kind of wanted to talk about these actually is because i got them from a black owned brand based in london i think or based in england at the very least um it's called Mawusi. um and basically like i think like i found their website and i was just like so their plants are named after like african name so like i know one of these are named like kojo there's a there's another one i bought that was named like ola so you know like how you go to a brand and they'd be like oh this is janet the plant okay i don't know why i said janet or they would basically name the plant and it's always an english name it was just interesting to just see a brand where it was just like african names and it's black owned and it's a small well, i assume it's a small business so basically i think for them you can either buy like an individual plant which is what i did so i, I think i bought like four plants really reasonable prices or you can sign up for a subscription and they will deliver you like a new plant every month so yo i'm gonna leave their link in the description box check them out support a black business all of that good stuff um actually i'm gonna try I'm, i think i'll put this in the bedroom today then there is this and i feel like you guys have seen this if you haven't seen it might have been in the deco hall but this is that these are the glasses i got them from ikea they sell them everywhere nowadays but this is what's supposed to go on the tray that i was meant to fix that's not fixing and obviously because it's actual like it's glass um it is thick glass to an extent because it's meant to be a mug but i need to make sure that tray is stable but i have got six of these in here um i think i'm only going to be using three and then i'm probably going to put three like storage this is something i need to return oh y'all by the way in case y'all don't know i don't drink like well obviously i drink liquids but i don't drink alcohol but i have recently been really like hooked on like non-alcoholic drinks and when i say non-alcoholic drinks i mean like non-alcoholic wine nozeco like non-alcoholic prosecco all of that stuff so i basically got some really pretty glasses um so these are dark dark tinted i don't know um and I got these from Amazon and I just really like the shape of these. Like, look at this as a flute. It's such a pretty shape. Like, I don't even want to, it's just such a pretty shape. So I just got one pack. So I got four of these. Um, Cause it's not like, I'm not the type of person to have like big parties and stuff. So I don't need too many of them. I just bought them for like days, like when I'm home. I guess if I have friends around, they, obviously they can use it as well. But you know when you're home and you light a candle or you pour yourself a drink and it's a non-alcoholic drink, but you still just want to be in the fields. <laughs> so I got those. And then I also got like the wine glass is the equivalent of it so let me show you all the picture so yeah, this is what it looks like that is like look how pretty that shape is and i got these from amazon i don't know if i said but i will leave the link to all of these in the description this is the wine glass equivalent of it and yo like these glasses are not cheap they are not cheap but look like look how pretty that like i just love because i was just going to go for like some basic ones from walker for like five quid um which you can um i saw some cute ones on there but i just absolutely love the shape of this like i love the shape of yo, look at the shape of this y'all this is beautiful i'm gonna be drinking my non-alcoholic wine i'm gonna say non-alcoholic wine y'all like i will try to see if i can leave a link in the description box it's not like you know how you have like flemish it's not like sweet it tastes like wine but apparently it just has no alcohol in there the other thing is an instant pot which i feel like i've had for quite a while actually i ordered it off, i ordered it off amazon um and then i just didn't do anything with it because i feel like i've just had other focuses um but I'm, I'm going to be sorting that out real quick. Maybe that will be the next video. Um, What was I doing here? Why did I start?
jaws. Oh my days, I did I posted about this. I did post about this on Instagram. Because I remember I was posting about how there were just so many boxes within a box. But it was just like a box within a box within a box. And I couldn't even remember what I ordered. So I was just really confused about what turned up. But I guess they just wanted to make sure it didn't get damaged. I actually think it came in like two boxes before this. And then now in this box there is oh gosh. Which now has another box. Um and when I open this box, I find three more individually wrapped boxes. But let me quickly open these up, change the orange seals, wash them, and then place my food in them. I want more of you. I want more of you. Jesus, the more I know you, the more I want to know you. Jesus, oh, you make my life so beautiful And as you are Where's my phone? I think I want to listen to something You all know my go-to is an audiobook And I feel like I've said this a thousand times um, So if you watch my videos You know that I always have a Actually I do always have a link in the bio If you want to get like a free audiobook Or just free other trials And just so you know When you use, up a, free, when you use a free trial Not only do you get a free trial But then you also help support a sister um, check out the link in the description box. Oh, yeah, do I want to listen to an audible? I feel like, or oh, do I want to watch a YouTube video? I don't even know. I might save the smaller boxes just because when I move, I will have an easy way to transport these safely. By the way, I find like I think I'm very aware that this place is not like my permanent place. Like I feel like ever since my last move and all of the stress of trying to pack everything and move everything safely. Whenever I buy something, or even just like in living normal life, I always think about, oh, how are you going to package this for when you move out of this place? And maybe it's because I'm aware that I'm renting. But I guess last time I was aware that I was renting, I guess I just have, hadn't moved from a rented place to another rented place. I don't know. It's a whole situation. But yeah, like even like when I'm shopping, sometimes I'll be like, how bad did you want this? Because if you buy this, it's something else you have to pack and move with you. I should have been wearing my back support because um, I feel like I don't been doing a lot of movement. And my back is like, I don't know who you think you are. I don't think I told you all this yet, um, but my back has been acting funny for the last few months. Um, I was in physio for a while. I just stopped physio maybe last week or two weeks ago. And I have a back support thing that I wear, which kind of helps as well. Um, so they did say, like my physiotherapist said not to use it too often because it can then cause like, if you use it wear 24 hours, because it, it limits your movement, you could then end up with a stiff back as well. So... I said all that to say trying to stand up is actually quite painful right now. Um, but we're gonna do this. Every tongue will praise his name until the day he comes again. We will say you are worthy. Back support in our sofa. Um, oh, okay, that feels a little better at the very least. Really thirsty. Oh, I have a Fanta in here somewhere from the KFC. Gosh, that's really sweet. I should really be drinking water. I've washed up all the jars. I'm not doing the wine glasses, and they feel so delicate. It's like so delicate, and like for the amount I spend on them, <laughs> they cannot break. So I'm trying to be extra careful. I've just realized I don't think I have a cupboard big enough to put them in. Does it fit in the bottom one? No, it doesn't fit in none of them. I won't figure that out another time. Let me just try and get these glasses washed. Through the valleys and the mountains, you've heard our every prayer. On earth as it is in heaven, we know you're always there. There's nothing like your presence. There's no one who compares. 
Y'all, I broke one. I already broke one. Oh gosh. This is not worth the stress. Why are these so delicate? So now I have a set of four and a set of three. Is there a way to fix this, y'all? This is very annoying. Does anyone have tips on how to handle these and how to take care of these? Because my nerves can't take this my nerves cannot actually like i feel like these are all going to be broken i can't believe i already broke one i've never used it and the only thing is that i thought i saved it and then it dropped i guess the good news is only one is broken but now i don't even know what i'm going to do with it i don't even want to touch the rest i just want them to live in the sink and not break oh Joe, never mind i'm just gonna do you think there's a chance they'll give me another one because i broke it so quickly I'm too tired for this <laughs> like a tiny bit that I can't put in there. I guess it's this porridge for breakfast tomorrow then. This is actually feeling too tight now. I try not to work for too long. By the end of this, um, what I should have is I should have like one So this will be the end result. Um, ignore the fact that some of them are empty right now. Um, I will need to do a food shop. And obviously, like I'm still gonna have like like small bags of white rice and like what else? Like you know, noodles, all that stuff. Spaghetti. I was thinking of using one of them for spaghetti, but I don't think it's tall enough. So I will have stuff that I use less often in the cupboards, but then the major ones. Yeah. I'm also hoping being able to see my food. Will encourage me to cook more because I'll see the veg, I'll see the carbs, um, I'll see the coffee. Oh, and then now the other jars. <laughs> Yo, I like that I was so tired. All my energy is back just seeing this. So worth the work. So worth the work. Um, I am gonna take these down there. I guess. The last bit that looks kind of undone is this section here. Let me do the remaining stuff. These ones, it's gonna go for the tea and coffee area. So we're gonna start with decaf. Pour that in there. Actual coffee. I'm just realizing this is all gonna look very brown because I've got the decaf, then caffeinated coffee. And then next I'm gonna do some brown sugar. Okay, so the plan was to put hot chocolate, tea, and then herbal tea in the last three. But I've just realized if I have hot chocolate, I'm going to have four brown ones. So to balance it out, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make the rest like tea. And that way, it's like three brown ones and then a pop of color. And actually that works out well because the whole point of this is that the things that are good for me are always on display. So actually what might be good is I can have hot chocolate in the cupboards, but not have it on display for me to always have. And that way I'm more likely to have teas and the things that are better for me. Okay, so we've got apple and cinnamon, pomegranate, pomegranate. Um, ooh, we're gonna put a bit of the pinks in there as well. So I kind of want to have the different types on display. This is a bit of a squeeze. So we'll let it close, and then in these ones, I'm gonna have some. Ooh, white tea. I didn't even realize I didn't like tea. I might have one of these tonight, actually. You see, this is what have it on display. <laughs> I'm gonna have one of these tonight. Um, some nighttime tea as well, and then some throat comfort. And then I will save these for when I need to refresh. I'm gonna have Earl Grey as well, but then the thing is, I don't wanna have just like grey tea bags. Y'all, I am figuring this out as I go along, in case you have a guest. But let me know what y'all think, or if you guys have done this, do you have any tips? I think that actually looks slightly neater than my first time, doesn't it? Oh, my back, y'all. My back is really painful. I don't know what to do with like boxes like these, because obviously, I've got different types, but then you only know what's in it based on the box, so I can't actually take it out of the box. Where's my raspberry leaf tea? Do I not actually have raspberry leaf tea? 
that is not good. Berry berry, red bush, peppermint, Turkish. Ooh, lemon and ginger. I don't have any raspberry leaf tea. I need to get some raspberry leaf tea. That really helps with my period, actually, so I need to make sure I get some in. But then the last one will be a mixture of raspberry leaf and organic rose hip. But for now, we'll just put in the organic rose hip. So you can see the overall look that I am going with. I have three glasses on there. I'm not sure if I want these at the top or at the bottom. Maybe I have that. So that is kind of the idea. I still need to figure out what's happening with this. With the stuff on there, it's still pretty stable, but can you just see? That slight amount of movement there. Yo, what do you think? And I know it's not the fanciest setup in the world, but I quite like it for like something that's an IKEA cabinet. What I am gonna have to do though is because of the steam, I don't want steam to ruin the cabinet. And I'm kind of fine with the kettle, but when I do make coffee, I am gonna have to just bring this up and pop it on here um, while the coffee is brewing. And then when it's done, just pop it back on here as well. So that's probably the only thing I need to be mindful of. That looks good. I feel like that looks good. For my first kind of tea and coffee cabinet conversion situation and then for the bottom i'm still going to use it as storage i might do the first tray with all the other teas and stuff so all my teas are in this section even if they're not on display but i'm just mindful for that top row it's probably going to be very beige now i think about it but i guess this is colorful enough to balance that out i'm also thinking about whether i want to put a plant on top so something like uh like a pothos so like a devil's ivy so something that kind of hangs down so just so, just so there's a bit of green on there as well. I'm happy with this initial setup. Now I have got <laughs> all of these boxes to sort out. Um, and I kind of just want to get it done tonight so that I am done with this. And my flat just looks human for the new week. It is literally like four and a half hours later um, and I have got a well-deserved cup of tea and the first drink I made for my new tea and coffee station and y'all I'm just so I am so happy with it for a rough DIY job let me put this down for something that is like technically a bookcase where I didn't actually drill into it or make any changes like I'm just so happy with the way it turned out I think the only thing is it would be really great if I had like a counter like if I had like a counter in front of it that would be perfect but I am just so happy with it and I'm also kind of just happy with how the kitchen is looking i think the one thing i do now need is i need plants for the kitchen it's like i'm hoping that i i just love the look of that like i just absolutely love seeing that y'all but let me show you what the kitchen is looking like and at some point i'll do like a proper tour i do want some more green in the space um <laughs> ignore the dead absolutely completely <laughs> dead to the bone orchid over there but I do want some more greenery in the space. And maybe I might just bring this out a bit more so you can actually see the grey. I also need to get rid of that. Um, I don't know why that's still there. It's my old knife set. This has been a journey. Uh, I thought it was going to be a quick one and a half hours uh, to sort out this kitchen. But I am just really happy with the way my flat is coming together. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it has inspired you. Um, if you, if you have done anything like this before and you do have some tips, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm limited in what I can do because obviously I am renting. And if you are looking for a renter friendly option of a way to create more storage in a kitchen, I hope this helps you. Um, or you can check out some of the ready-made options. So like a proper kitchen cabinet, like the, the Amazon one, if you are willing to spend the money and you've got the space for it, is a really good option if you're looking for something like this. And also if it kind of like merges with your current kitchen design. This has been exciting. I've just realized, as is usual, I have forgotten to introduce myself. So if you are new to this channel and you have made it to the end of this vlog, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Well, I appreciate all of you all that watch. But I just want to say to those of you that are new, welcome to This Girl's Insights. My name is Tommy Lola. It is so nice to have you here. Please subscribe to join the family, like to support. And remember, the comment section is how we become friends. So please leave a comment below. And if you aren't new to this channel and you don't been watching and you ain't subscribed and you ain't liked and you ain't left a comment below, please also follow the instructions. I would appreciate it. No, but for real, y'all, I really appreciate all of your support. And on that note, I'm just going to say thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Jesus loves you. And may the Spirit of God be with you. Bye, guys. Ooh, antibacterial, y'all. But then there was another issue. Did y'all just see that? This is a very random clip. So right now, that area over there is how I ended up in my feelings. And I'm going to have my full entryway situation sorted. Simple enough, right?